Hey everybody, welcome to today's video where we're going to be discussing a frustrating bug that some players have encountered in the Steam version of Hogwarts Legacy. Now, this glitch can cause all your characters to disappear from the game, so any progress that you've made so far will be gone. But don't worry, I will be walking you through a potential solution that actually helped me fix the exact same issue and get you back to your wizarding adventures in Hogwarts Legacy. So, let's get started. Alright, so typically this issue will happen from a crash in the game or the computer itself and you will know something is wrong when you boot the game back up and it is starting to make you set up all your settings again. Now don't fear and just go ahead and change any settings that might have been misconfigured and go to the main screen. This is typically where you're going to notice that something's very wrong because you're going to see none of your characters there and you're only going to be able to create a new one. So what we want to do is actually start with creating a new character and you don't really actually have to do anything at this point. You can pick any of these characters you want. The only thing you need to do is make sure that the name is the exact same as your old character. This is the only vital part. You can pick a wizard, you can pick a witch, you can pick anything you want it to look like. Um, but once we get your old characters back, they are going to take back what you previously had. So any of these other settings are just going to be kind of pointless. So after that, you're going to just go ahead and boot into the game here. And feel free to skip any of these cutscenes. And basically, we just want to get to the point where we're sitting in the cave uh, with our professor here. And then from here, we're actually going to pull up File Explorer. So let me change the screen here and we'll just fast forward a bit. All right, so while we have the game up and running, what we're gonna do is open up File Explorer. So now that we're in File Explorer, we're gonna wanna go to C drive or wherever you installed your windows on whatever drive letter. Um, you're gonna go into users, find your username, ensure that you have show hidden folders on. Um, we'll go into app data and then we will go into local. Now, once we're in local, we are going to scroll all the way down until we find Hogwarts Legacy. Now, from here, what you're going to do is typically you're only going to see um, this folder. I will delete that one. So you're only going to see this folder. What you're going to do is you're just going to copy this, paste this, and then rename this to backup saved. And then whatever today's date is for you. Um, today right now is the 16th of February so we're just going to go ahead and do that then what you can do is you're going to go into the save so this is just backing up anything if anything gets screwed up we have a save point we can go back to even though your character's already gone um, it's technically not gone so if anything happens with this you have kind of a something to go back to so after we go into save, we're going to go into save games and then you're going to see this number. You're just going to go ahead and double click into that as well. Now, these are going to be all your different saves here. This is what we're really looking for. Um, I like to sort mine by date modified and then you're going to find the newest one um, from here. We're going to just go ahead and copy the full save name. Now I'm going to paste this into a notepad on a different screen. Um, and then we can actually change the name of this. Uh, so I will put old underscore so the game won't recognize this file anymore. Um, and then what you're going to do is look for a file. Um, something that you know was working prior. So let's just say uh, maybe this one right here. We're going to go ahead and rename this and we're actually going to rename it to this one up here. Um, ensure that you don't have a double dot SAV. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your game. You're going to alt F4, and then you're going to wait for this screen to show on steam. So the steam is going to say cloud status up to date. After that, you know that it has worked just the way you wanted it to. So everything is perfect the way you need it to. Now, when you launch the game again, it's going to show your new character that you had created. But once you load into the game, it is actually going to be your character again. And it's that easy to get your character back. Now, one thing is to note, um, if you do have more than one character missing and you have all your characters missing, once you get 
load that first character that you recreate into the cave, what you're going to need to do is exit game and actually recreate each character with the exact same names each and every time until you have all the characters created in your new character uh, save spots. And then you're just going to launch back into one of those characters back into that cave and then follow those steps from the cave beyond with the file explorer and changing the file. This should correct all those missing characters for you. Now, like I said before, when you go back into these characters, they might not be exactly right. Um, like showing up in that main menu, but once you launch them, it's going to resync back down with the, the steam cloud version um, and it will be your old character back again. So hopefully this actually worked out for you. Um, it did work for me. So I'm just hoping to help out anybody else that's had this issue too. So if you liked the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe down below if it did help you. Or maybe if you didn't. Or if you know a different way to make this work as well. So I will see you guys in the next one.